in this episode of Managing Asia's Sustainable Future series. I'm here at Jurong Island to talk to YTR Power Sarai's CEO, John Ng. We'll find out how this power generation company in Singapore is leading the way when it comes to creating a more sustainable energy future. Electricity generation remains a major source of greenhouse gas emissions around the world. In fact, according to the IEA, coal-fired electricity generation accounts for some 30% of all CO2 emissions. But one power company trying to make a difference is YTL Power Soraya. The 50-year-old integrated energy company generates around 20% of Singapore's electricity supply. It is on a sustainability push to lower its carbon emissions. And the man leading the charge is its CEO, John Ng. So, John, you've been in the energy and utilities business for more than 35 years. As CEO of Power Sarai, you're leading the push towards a more sustainable future. Why is that important to you? We generate huge amount of electricity using huge amounts of fuel. So it's important for us when we generate electricity, we must make it most efficient and make it most sustainable. Uh, this is not only my direction, but it is, the, it is the DNA of all our staff over here understanding what sustainability is all about. Especially so, we are operating in the power industry. Do you remember how you first started out on that journey? During those times when we were, we were burning oil in the, in, the, in the power industry, our efficiency were there about in the 36-38% range. Today, things are very different. We no longer use a lot of oil in our power plant. We are using gas in the power plant. Using gas into a newer technology, power generating equipment, increases our efficiency uh, by almost 40%. So what this means is that our emission into the atmosphere is now reduced by 40%. Today, we em emit a lot less CO2 uh, into the environment with almost zero particulate and a very, very low uh, NOx as well. Today, you're expanding into renewable energy, you're ramping up your solar capabilities, but how reliable is solar as a form of power generation? Uh, in solar, especially so in Singapore, you have uh, two challenges, main two, main, mainly two challenges. Number one is availability of land. Solar requires a lot of land. The second challenge about solar is, is always its intermittency. 100% relying on solar in Singapore uh, is something that we cannot totally rely on it. So that's the reason why solar has to be complemented with uh, a technology like the combined cycle that we have over at the power plant. So while Singapore has got an ambition to ramp up its solar capacity to 2,000 uh, megawatt by year 2030, 2,000 megawatt by year 2030 means about 20% of today's, today's uh, capacity. Do you ever see a future where solar will totally replace gas-fired power generation? The only way to power the whole of Singapore is to bring solar across from uh, other countries into Singapore, like the, for example, the opening of the ASEAN grid, which is very, very interesting. But having said that, we have to balance between the ability to supply electricity on our own versus buying wholesale 100% from overseas. So if you ask me in Singapore, is it possible for us to be 100% solar based on today's policy? I don't think so. YTL Power Sarai walking the talk when it comes to making sustainability as the core value of its organization. The company has reduced its greenhouse emission by 33.8% against 2005 levels. And it has taken the first step into solar power with its 973 kilowatts of rooftop solar over its power station. So this is our first start of uh, venturing into this. The next step we are looking at is how can we participate in the 100 megawatt solar project that EMA has announced as a pilot to bring electricity from Malaysia into Singapore. We believe we are well positioned for that because of our heritage. So John, when you look back at your journey leading Pasarai into a more sustainable energy play, as CEO, what were some of the hardest lessons learned? Often people say whenever you have a trip is bad, I always look at it differently. 
when you have a trip or you have failure, that's where your engineers start learning. And that's where you deposit your deep skilling. Now that takes time, all right? But while, while you are acquiring that, the, the general industry don't not pay uh, engineers that well. So that creates a second problem. How do we uplift the salary of the workers? And the third one is about making sure that their skills continue to be relevant as we progress with time. So these are the three challenges I see are facing uh, most of the employees within the power industry today. Any advice for CEOs on how to adopt more sustainable practices from where you sit as CEO of Power Zariah? I think important part for all CEOs is to how, we, how do we encourage to use less, right? And be more efficient in terms of our operation. So for us, we saw the big benefit of using less because our consumers see the benefit of using less. We also see the benefit of finding more efficient ways of actually generating electricity. And finally, what is your ultimate ambition for Power Sarai? We have been in this business for 50 years in Singapore. So in the next 50 years, we will continue to find ways and means to find sustainable uh, measures. The next step is to go into even higher efficiency uh, combined cycle. And I believe if we go into that, that will also save or reduce the carbon emission by another 20%. This is how I see the journey of YTL Power Sarai moving forward. But at the same time, uh, we are also looking in solar, how we can actually bring solar to our customers. And that was John Ong, CEO of Singapore Power Station, YTL Power Zariah. Do join me again on the next Managing Asia Sustainable Future series. I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Managing Asia. Sustainable Future. Brought to you by UOB.